In a previous video, I showed you how to edit your images and photos and how to determine if you're viewing a JPEG or RAW and how to edit the photo in RAW. So for example, right here, um, I can see this little icon in the corner and depending on the version of photos that you're using, this icon might be here, it might be down here. And this is the most recent version. This is the one that came with Sierra. And you can see here there's a little J and it looks like there's two squares on top of each other make this a little bit bigger so you can see it right so um, we're looking at this one here and it looks like there's two squares on top so that means that there's two files associated with this image one's the JPEG one's the raw image and when I open this up I can see it again here but the problem has been that if I wanted to view or um, you know use my raw as my original um, you couldn't just do it from this menu because it says use raw as original, it's grayed out. You actually had to go and click on um, edit the photo and then go to image and say use raw as original or right mouse click and say use raw as original. And then when you click done and you come back, you'll see there's an R there, which is telling you that you're viewing R or the raw file as, an, uh, as the original. So out of that, I got a lot of comments about, well, how do I first off determine if I actually imported the raw file? And we also had some other people asking, well, how do I go about getting my raw images out? Because I want to edit them in another application, and maybe an Adobe product. So um, first off, you can tell again, if you have the raw image, if you see these stacked squares here to tell you that if you have both the files, and, but if you wanted to be sure, and you were pretty sure you were shooting in RAW and JPEG, but it's not showing up here, what you can do is, let's move this out of the way. You want to go to your uh, photos library, and mine is in pictures, which is the default place. And mine's named photos library mine. I just happened to name it that. Yours probably just says photo library. Now if you right mouse click here on that, or you do a control click sorry there control click and choose show package contents because this is actually this is sort of like a directory and inside this directory inside this folder is all the contents that makes up your photo library so what you want to do is say show package contents and it will show you everything that's in that library all the pieces that make that up including all the files your your uh, your photo albums, any of the edits that you've made, and your masters. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that you got to be careful if you're going to um, open up the package and click around in here because if you don't want you don't want to change anything, you don't want to delete anything because it will have an impact on your photo library. So, for example, if I removed one of the images, one of the photos that I took, and I go back into photos, I might have a thumbnail of it. Like I might still see a thumbnail of this image. Um, but when I go to edit it, the photo actually won't be there. So with that out of the way, what you can do is go into Masters, and this is where all of your uh, original photos are stored. Now they're um, stored by date. So for example, uh, here are photos from 2017, and then it's by month. So if I want to look at April, I can go to April, and then I can pick a day specifically, like the, let's say the 24th. And then here are all of the imported, um, the, here are the imports from that day. So let's just take a look at uh, maybe this one. Let me find a good one with some actual raw images in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So during this import, you can see in here that, for example, uh, let's take a look at this one. There's an image. Okay, and that is a JPEG image, and the file name is 6339. Now, I'm using uh, a Canon uh, 6D, and uh, it's set up to use these file names as IMG 6339. And just above it here, you see another file with the same, almost the same file name, but with a different extension of CR2. And that CR2 is, I think, the Canon RAW image file format. And if you're using Nikon or a different type, um, it will probably have a different extension on it. 
but it will most likely have the same file name so that these two go together. So when I imported from my camera into photos, it imported both of these images, and these are the images that you see stacked. So if we went back in here, I don't know where that image is, it was on the 22nd, but let's just say it was uh, you know any of these here. That's what's determining if there's the squares here uh, that stacks up the two files on top of each other so they're not displayed separately because they know that the image is basically the same, it's just a different file format. And you can see um, on other ones where maybe I took a picture with my iPhone, like this one, um, there is no um, stacking because the iPhone's not taking uh, raw file format images. Okay, so let's say you wanted to then um, you know move these out and edit them in a different um, in a different product. So, for example, this one here. What you need to do is you want to make a copy of this. You don't want to just move it because then you won't have it in your photo library anymore. So if you drag it out here, you'll notice it'll just move it. And I don't want to move it. So if I hold down the Option key, it gives me the little plus sign. And that will create a copy of it on my desktop or wherever I wanted to drag it to. Of course, you can always do a you know Command-C. Oops. Command-C, click on the desktop, Command-P to paste and it will paste it wherever um, you know wherever you selected so that's how you can move those files either the JPEG or the raw or any of the file formats or any of your images out to um, out to your Mac or out to an external drive perhaps um, to edit that in I don't know Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever so um, also Let's say I wanted to go back and I wanted to capture all of the images that I imported on a certain day. I don't know. I wanted to create a backup of what I imported into photos or whatever you're going to do. You wanted to upload everything up to uh, you know, Flickr or something. You can grab, let's go back, let's grab an entire day. We can grab the 24th, again drag it out, hold down the option key and that will create a copy of all of those images to my desktop and that's a lot of data there. there's two gigs of data I gotta make sure to delete that um, but again you want to make sure you're not removing it or moving it out of the library itself because um, that's gonna cause a problem where the image won't be there anymore you might have the thumbnail so it might look like it's there but if you were to export it or try to edit it um, you're gonna have some problems so I'm gonna get rid of these so that's where you can find your original masters in photos, in your photos library, how to move them out, and also um, how to determine if you actually shot in RAW and, and imported the images in RAW, RAW file format into your photos library. And I hope that's helpful.